Hello and welcome back to another Power Query tutorial session. Today we'll be building on top of the previous lesson, so check out the last video before checking out this one. And today we'll be going over how to add leading zeros to numerical values such as dates and employee IDs. We will be bringing in the table on my right, the employee table, which contains the last name and employee ID, to the main sales table on to my left. The problem with employee ID currently is that it's stored as a numeric number and it does not contain the leading zeros. The other thing we need to manipulate is the order date, which is in a date format. However, again, it does not contain the leading zeros. And let's say the format that we need to finalize this date is, is in MMDDYY with a separator. So we're going to see how we can use Power Query to manipulate and automate the formatting of this data behind the scenes and then through a click of a button able to quickly refresh our data for future reuse. So here we have the sales table and we have the order date as stored as a text field currently. And what we want to do is bring in the employee table with the employee IDs um, padded with leading zeros. So we can take a look at the employee table here. What we need to do is manipulate this column and add leading zeros. So how do we do that? First, we go to add column, add custom column, and we're going to call this employee ID modified. And we're going to bring in and reference the original employee ID showcased here. And we're going to use the new function that we just learned to do that. So text.padstart is the function. And we're going to write this using three parameters. So again, this function uses two, three parameters. First is the column that you're going to manipulate. Second being how long the length of this is supposed to be. And lastly, what to replace or to insert as the leading characters. So we are going to use zero. Uh, however, because we want to use this as a text, store this as a text, we need to put zero in quotation marks. If you put just zero as a number, it's not going to work. So we see right away that this becomes an error. And why is that? It's because employee ID currently, all of these values are numbers. And the formula strictly says we cannot convert this number into a text. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we're going to use another formula. We're going to call text.from as a function and pass through the employee ID, which was originally a numeric value. So what this does is convert employee ID into text using this formula. And now once this is passed through as a text into text.padstart, we're going to solve this problem. So the leading zeros have been added in and we're good to go. So the next step for this is to bring in and merge the sales table into the employee table. And once again, this is what we did in the first lesson. So we're gonna merge in employee table, merge it with the employee's first name because those are the ones that are matching. We're going to use the left outer join and bring it in. After we bring it in, we expand the columns that are relevant. We don't need first name because it's already there. We don't want employee ID because we want the modified version. Bring those in. So now we have employee last name and the employee ID. And lastly, we're just going to modify the, uh, the column name. So we have the employee ID as well as the last name brought in for each uh, employee. Next up, we have order date, which is currently in a text format, but we want to add leading zeros. So can we still use text.padstart using on a date? Let's find out. 
So I'm going to go into transform sales and try to use the same formula to manipulate the order date. And let's see if that works. So we add once again, a new column referencing the order date using text.padStart. And uh, let's say the date is supposed to be MMDDYY with beating zeros. Will that work? And once again, I made the same mistake. I need to wrap that into that. And it's looking a little bit strange. So this works because there are two values in the date, 23. But when there is only a single value, you can see that the formula isn't smart enough to make that distinction. So the zero is added to the beginning. And that's what text.pad start does. In order to add the zero, we need to think further on how we can solve this problem. So that's all for today's video. I know we covered how to add leading zeros to a numeric value, but in order to add leading zeros to a specific date format, such as the MMDDYYYY, it's a little bit more complicated. So I will be going over that in the next video.